Alright, hello creative people. Today I will show you how to do a parallax effect with pure CSS. So a parallax effect is a way of displaying images so they won't scroll at the same time or they will be, they will be fixed or something like that. It's the way that we will handle the scroll and the, the animation when we scroll with the different image. At first, it came from, it comes, came, came, it came, it came from the photography world, but now you can do some pretty sick effect with CSS and especially in JavaScript, but I will show you this little trick in pure CSS. You see that the different images are fixed, are fixed in the background. All right, so let's go, let's cut that. I will put the source code in description. There won't be much, so you can grab it on GitHub. So we will begin with a div and a class section and s dollar tam3 like that. Okay, so s1, s2, s3. And inside it, I will just write section one, two, and three. I can copy it, press alt, click, click, and just paste it right there. All right, great. So we can open this with live server, which is an extension right there. You just need to install it if it's not done already. And now we can just style everything. So we do have a basic reset, 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 reset. And after that, a simple body with some background and font family. So different sections will be with a height of 100 VH viewport height. So 100% of the viewport height. BG repeat, no repeat. So we don't want to repeat something if it's not big enough. BG size uh, cover, which is the magic uh, magic property, uh, because um, it will um, cover the screen with the image. So it will crop it a little bit if needed, and uh, it will just cover everything. So it's just perfect right there. And then we are going to put a background position center. So when we resize it, uh, it will be focused on the center and not on left, which is the default behavior. Default behavior, so yeah, uh, ju just wait, just wait. Uh, we, we need to put the image first, but it will just be focused on the center like that. All right, then um, perfect. We can just display flex justify content center and align items center just to center the different section, section one, two, and three. All right, so one major property is missing right there. We do need to add BG attachment fixed. And this is all we need to do right there. We just need to add that property and it will fix the background instead of make it, it follow the, the scroll. Uh, I, I will show you the different behavior. So first we need to style the H2 just real quick. Some text align center, BG white, F1, 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 padding 20 pixel, font size 55, 55, whoops, font size, and font weight of 200 like that. Okay, so great, we do have our section right there. And then finally, we are going to give the different background image. So uh, S1 will take URL images slash image one, and you've guessed it. You can just change everything with S2 image two and S3 image three like that. All right, let's test if it's working. Yes, it's working. So what's going on right there? If we remove background attachment fixed, it will just follow the scroll, the different the different section will just follow the scroll with the different background. It, it won't be fixed at all. But if you put fixed like that, the, the background will not follow the scroll. It will be wiped out by the different uh, section like that. So it's really easy to do and it's really nice. It's really nice supported so you can do it. You can also just put it to one image, for example, so S3. So the two one, the two first image uh, will just have a normal scroll. And then we have right there, a uh, background attachment fixed. So maybe it can be better on the second one. So normal and fixed. 
and noble. You see, it can be kind of original to do that kind of stuff. So, if you want to do something more complicated, you can use uh, JavaScript, indeed. But for some simple parallax, it's just perfect to add that property. All right, and to finish with the background um, properties right, uh, right there. So by default, you do have a background position left and you'll see that it's not that, it's not that beautiful right there because when we, um, when we resize it down, it will just be focused on the left of the image. But if you put center, it will be focused on the center of the image. And a lot of time you do have the action of the image that is in the center of the image. So a lot of time you do want to have the BG position center, but sometimes you can also have one thing uh, important or one thing you want to, to focus on the right or on the left and don't hesitate to do that kind of stuff. Maybe I want to follow, uh, I want to focus on this part, this area of my image. So I can just put right and you see that it's focusing on the right, right there. All right, great. I hope I've helped somebody and yeah, take care. See you next time. Ciao.